Hi everyone, now we are going to solve our first worked example. Um, the bob in a simple pendulum you can see has a mass m and the cord length here the bob is attached is l and it is displaced from equilibrium position by angle theta and the question is that we need to determine the period of oscillation for the pendulum. So before starting solving this uh, question I would like to remind you a couple of things about our coordinate systems and you can find the relevant information in our textbook, Kibler's textbook which is available also online through our library. So. In curvilinear motion, we one of the options that we can use about the coordinate system that we use is T and coordinate system, normal coordinate system. And T represents tangential direction and N represents the normal direction. And here the T axis is tangent tangent to the curve at the point of interest. And this is positive in the direction of increasing s the displacement as you can see the motion continues in this direction and this is point like zero uh, initial point and the s displacement increase in this direction so this t tangential coordinate is positive at increasing s direction which is this direction in this case and the other coordinate, which is normal coordinate, is n is perpendicular to the t axis, with it is positive sense directed towards the center of curvature. So this is a quite an important um, part for solving this question. Therefore, I thought it might be useful for you before we start. So now we can start solving our question and the first step in solving any question in dynamics is to create the free body uh, diagram first. So this is our free body diagram for this question. So what do we mean by um, free body diagram? So free body diagram means that you are isolating the mass from its surroundings uh, for this problem. And also you are making sure that you know all forces acting on this mass are also transferred to our free body diagram. So here we have the mass of the bob, I mean the, uh, the force due to the mass of the bob and also here you can see the other force T due to the cord. Uh, the T is also applied on the bob from the court. So you see we also included our coordinate system here which is T and coordinate system. Uh, as I explained you earlier we have the component AT in direction of T and also we have another component AN of the acceleration of the bob. So the reason is that uh, in this current situation our if you think that this is kind of center of our uh, circular motion you can assume that our uh, bob is making kind of a circular motion therefore we can use that T and coordinate system to define it is motion right so obviously you can expect a component of acceleration AT here and another component around here which is AN and since our initial position will be somewhere here this is our increasing displacement direction right so this way this uh, direction for AT then will be positive right so we created our free body 
diagram and we can now try to write our uh, equation of motion so we apply equation of motion in tangential direction because the only motion can take place in tangential direction so total force acting in tangential direction should be equal to m a t so why we only have equation of motion in tangential direction because the forces acting on this bob cannot provide any movement along this normal direction the only motion is on uh, is along t direction this is why we only have equation of motion in this direction okay and obviously now we need to show the forces we need to uh, write the forces in our equation so we need to identify what kind of forces we have so one force we can identify here along the t direction is this component of our weight which we can write as minus mg sine theta equal to m a t so why we wrote that because the only force that can make any effect on the motion of this bob is this uh, this component of our weight so this is how we can write our equation of motion so now we have our equation of motion we can continue with the kinematics of the problem which means that we can write our acceleration in tangential direction by second time derivative of our displacement we also know from geometry that we can write that our displacement is equal to distance the length times the angle theta right so this will give us a chance to write our acceleration in slightly different format so we can take the second time derivative of our displacement which will be equal to l l is constant so the derivative of constant as well itself times theta second time derivative of theta right so now we will try to write our equation in terms of our new parameters here so first let's try to manipulate this one a bit m a t this now goes to other side of our equation plus mg sine theta equal to zero let's get rid of m's then and also i can replace a t now by our new parameters here l theta double dot plus g sine theta equal to zero okay so we can take one step further and we can write this equation like theta double dot plus g over l sine theta equal to zero so this is the general like format that we put our equations in and at this point we can make a further simplification by knowing that we can assume sine theta 
can be assumed equal to theta for small angles. Therefore, our equation further simplifies to this form equal to zero. Therefore, our period, we can write our uh, period, let's continue another page, then the period of our system can be written like tau equals to 2 pi over omega n. We can also take one step further and 2 pi over L G. So this is the period of our system. First time actually Galileo Galileo, Galileo uh, observed this behavior which is like the period is only a function of the length of a pendulum so it is not a function of mass so thank you thank you for watching uh, the video